today. I cannot believe that my debut album was released 10 years ago today. How crazy is that? So what we're going to do is we're going to share some songs and the stories behind them from the album. And we're going to start off with the very first song on the album. It was also the very first single from Shine as well. This is Are You The Way Home? to Shine's birthday concert. So happy birthday, Shine, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. You've decided to come and spend your time with me to celebrate Shine's birthday. So thank you so much. So who have we got here? Oh, two or more. Hello, Joanna. Hi, Joanna Forrest. And Zach and Lee. Hello, how are you doing? Christopher, how's it going? I hope you're well. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Sunday. Helen. Hi, Helen. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so, so grateful that you've come and chosen to spend your time with me to celebrate Shine's birthday. So 
As you probably heard in Are You The Way Home, there is a Chinese theme. Now I'm going to say more about that later, but there is a Chinese lyric in Are You The Way Home, Ni Shi Wu De Jia, which means you are my home. So that is the translation. Now, when it comes to Are You The Way Home as well, you might be able to notice that the producer for Are You The Way Home was Ross Cullum. Now Ross Cullum also produced Orinoco flow for Enya. So I don't know if you can hear that influence within it, but it's definitely there. So um, I'm just so thrilled that he could produce the album and create the sound world that he created. So, well, as I promised, we've got a lot going on today. I've got a lot of stories to share with you, a lot of songs from the album, but also we've got a competition giveaway as well. Okay, so are we ready? I'm gonna show you the prizes. Okay, are we ready? And then I'll tell you how to enter. All right, so first prize, well, let's do the third and second first, yeah? Okay, so we have two postcards that will be included. So you can give these to your friends so that they know how to get two songs for free. Um, I'll let you know that as well. It's on, the, uh, on my website. You can get two songs completely free. So you can go and check that out if you haven't got them. Okay, so we've got two postcards that are included in the prize. We've also got a signed poster from my latest album, my fourth album, Live In Concert, and you also get that for free too as part of the prize. So that's actually worth 22 pounds on my website. And then also my glorious poster. So the new artwork for Glorious, we're gonna include that as well. It's currently available for pre-order on the website. So that's included too. So that is third and second prize, okay? Two people will win that bundle. And then, first prize, are we ready? First prize, get the poster, the signed poster, yeah? And live in concert sign two. And the postcards, yes, two postcards. And if, if the person who wins this, if you've got these albums already, don't worry, I can always sign them to somebody else and you can keep them ready for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully that's a good idea. And then we've also got signed copy of my winter album, Prayer to a Snowflake, and a signed copy of my third album, Inspire. And that's not all, you also get the glorious poster. So that's currently available for pre-order. It will be available next week. So you get the glorious poster included as well. So what have you got to do to win a prize? All you have to do is share this live concert. That's all you've got to do is just share it and then you'll be entered into the competition. So make sure you share it publicly, otherwise we won't be able to see who's shared it, okay? So make sure you do that as well so that we can see and enter your name into the prize draw, okay? So the prizes will be drawn before the last song of the concert. So you've got a bit of time now to make sure you get your name in ready for the drawing of the prizes towards the end of the concert. So the next song that I'd like to perform for you from Shine, I co-wrote this song. So I co-wrote seven out of the 12 songs on Shine and I co-wrote this one. I sang it on tour with Russell Watson with his full orchestra when I was touring with him. And then I was so thrilled. It was actually used in an advert on television. Um, it was used by Procter and Gamble for their very first advertising campaign for themselves not for the products that they actually sell, but to advertise themselves. So this one, I don't know if you've guessed it yet. <laughs> this is Stand As One. to place the place 
Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. <laughs> oh, Ema. Hi, Ema. How are you doing? You literally sound exactly the same live as you do on the CD. <laughs> Thank you very much. I try my best. <laughs> Nigel. Oh, hi, Nigel. Thank you so much. And Silji, hi, Silji, how are you doing? Colin, hello Colin. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. I'm so glad you enjoyed that one. I'm just so thrilled about that song. I just, it just lifts me whenever I sing it. And that's what we wanted to create when we wrote Stand As One. We wanted to create a really uplifting song. And so I just, I love singing that one. Okay, so moving on, I just wanna swiftly mention that we have a tip jar. So if you have some spare virtual change hanging about, it's at the top, um, as well as a sale, which is now live on my website. So this time there's no discount code needed. We have the Celebratory Shines 10 year anniversary sale on my website right now, where you can get 20% off a lot of the items that are on there. So make sure you go and check that out. I know that Rich is gonna be putting the link in the comments for you to make it super easy. Okay, so this next song has a little bit of a story behind it. It was written in Spain. So Decca were looking at different producers to produce the album. And so they sent us to Spain to work with Martin Glover. So Helen Bolding and I flew out with Zoe Mitchell and they wrote this song while I was recording lots of the other songs that they'd written for me in the studio there at Martin Glover's house in Spain. Now, you might not know Martin for his real name. He's actually better known by his stage name, which is Youth. Now I've got some notes written down here, so I get this right. So Youth, he's an English record producer and musician, best known as a founding member and bassist of the band Killing Joke. Anybody heard of them? Yeah, I think we have. So he was also a member of Celtic Cross, Pig Face, Transmission and Kiosk, and The Fireman, along with Sir Paul McCartney. And he's played bass for people like Kate Bush, among others. So he is super amazing. <laughs> so he wrote this song with Helen and Zoe out in Spain at his residence over there. And um, I'm just so thrilled that they wrote this. I really felt like I could identify with it straight away. And I just love singing this, just the emotion that you can feel when you're singing a song like this. It's, oh, I love it. So this is Everything Can Wait.
section. Thank you, David. Hi, David. How are you doing? Hi, Ema. How are you doing? Hi, Joanna again. How's it going? Thank you so much. Oh, Zach, thank you. Oh, gosh, I love, oh, I love the emotion in that song so much. So now we're going to, actually, this is one of Rich's favourites on the album. Now, I wrote this one with a writing duo. This is their real names. Paddy and Duck. Yeah, real names. So I wrote it with them. They are so much fun and so hugely talented. I wrote it with them. And when I went into this session, we were talking about the kind of sound world that we'd possibly want to create. And I was saying, well, I really would like it to have a, a Chinese string to it somewhere, just so it sounds, it sounds how I feel, basically. And he said, well, it was Duck. Duck said, well, I've actually written a couple of instrumental parts that I was going to use for a cinema because they wanted something that would sound like you were entering another world as you went into the cinema. And so he thought, well, I, do you know what? I can actually, do you want to hear it? We can see if we can sing along to this and create a song to it. And my gosh, when I heard it, I thought that's, that's amazing. It feels like we're entering this amazing oriental world. And I just loved it. So we used those songs that he had created already as backing and inspiration. And uh, when it came to writing the lyrics, Paddy said, well, what, what kind of lyrics do you want to write about? And um, he suggested an idea about an old pair of shoes. And when you get new laces for that old pair of shoes, it just brings them back together again and just fixes them up and makes them feel whole again. And I thought that was a really lovely idea. And I thought, well, let's use that image to create the lyrics for this song. So taking the idea of laces and threading them through something that's broken to make them whole again and bring them back together. Now, this song, not many people know this, <clears throat> But this song was actually used as the working title for Shine. So we hadn't decided fully on a title for the album yet. And so we used the name of this song as the working title. This is Beautiful Force.
my gosh, another song that I just love to sing is that uplifting kind of song that you know everything's going to be okay because this person that you love that means the world to you has brought you this new pair of laces and brought you back together again. So that was Beautiful Force and um, I think I saw it pop up in the comments. Yes, Glorious was the name of the EP that came out before Shine came out. And Beautiful Force was the working title for Shine before we came up with that title. We were trying to think of a title that was just one word and it, it was really quite difficult to sum up the whole of the album in just one word. But Shine is a word that comes back time and time again in the lyrics and so it just seemed perfect for that. So Paul, hello Paul, love the support from Rich. I know, me too. Thank you Rich. Give him a round of applause. Thank you darling. <laughs> Jan, love the backstories. Oh good, I'm glad to hear it, Adrian. Wonderful, oh thank you, Adrian, thank you so much. And David, hello. Oh, I'm so glad you like the dress. Thank you so much, Vesuva. <laughs> so this is actually the dress that I worked on for a good two years on and off, trying to get this ready for my concert in Taiwan. It was just ready for that. I was so thrilled to be able to wear it because this one, it's actually a vintage Oleg Cassini gown. Now, Oleg Cassini, he designed gowns for the most amazing people, including the first lady, Jackie Kennedy. Uh, so his gowns are incredible, and this is hand-beaded onto silk. But when I got hold of it, it was 25 pounds on eBay and needed a lot of work. So I had to completely take it apart, reconstruct it, redesign it. It didn't have this bit in initially, if you can see that down the bottom of your screens. And so, I'm so thrilled with it now. I've completely restored it and completely reimagined it. So thank you so much. It took such a long time and I was thrilled to be able to wear it in Taiwan for my concert there. So thank you. I'm glad you like it. Lee, done a good job. Thank you. Colin, oh, a nice emoji of a dress there. Thank you very much. Tony, gorgeous dress. Thank you. I'm glad you, I'm glad you like it. So, okay. Shine was released on the 8th of the 8th. And the reason for that is because eight is a very lucky number in China. So we decided to release it on the 8th of the 8th. Now, for those of you who don't know and are not aware of my backstory quite so much, I studied music, Western classical music, with Mandarin Chinese at Nanjing University. And so that's why there's a Chinese thread through everything that I do. And there's also a, a little Chinese lyric in Beautiful Force as well. That's what it is. Which means I don't want to go back. So you're talking, I don't want to go back to that dark place that I was in before the laces came along. So um, there's a Chinese thread running through everything because China and uh, my Chinese just blessed me so, so much. When I was over there, I entered and was voted the winner of the Chinese version of the X Factor. So this is why it means so, so, so much to me. So... This next song that I'd like to sing for you is actually one that got me through one of the rounds of the Chinese X Factor. It was a bit of a nerve wracking performance though, not because I was singing in Mandarin Chinese, but because the show had hired me this beautiful gold dress and some heels. Now the heels, they were like the tallest, highest heels I've ever worn in my entire life. <laughs> and I had to go onto the stage in this beautiful gold dress, I loved it, but these massive heels in front of 70 million viewers and try not to fall over. <laughs> it was quite scary, especially because they'd put this rather tall, round bit of stage in the middle of the stage for me to get up onto at a certain point. And so I had to try and make sure I could get up onto this certain bit of stage without falling over, because um, I'm not sure they wanted it to be a comedy show. That's not what they were going for. <laughs> so that was quite nerve wracking. But I'm glad to say I got up onto that bit of stage absolutely fine. I sang this song, I got through to the next round. And so this had to be on the album when we were creating the album with Decca. This had to be on the album. We decided to record the Chinese and English version with a lot of the instruments for this song recorded in Beijing because Ross Cullum, the producer, who also worked on Enya's Orinoco Flow, he, had, he also had links in China, so it worked out perfectly. So um, you've probably guessed which one this is now, but this is Yue Guang Iron Moonlight Lovers.
Zach, how you doing? There is this subtle yet powerful through line of heart-rendering emotion that catches me every time I listen to this song. Oh my gosh, what an amazing thing to say. I feel the same way with it. I absolutely love it. And I fell in love with it when I heard it from the film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. because it's actually the theme tune from that. And there was an English version created and a Chinese version. Um, and you know what? I actually, um, as well as singing this on, on the show in China, when I got back, I also sang it on the sofa of BBC Breakfast, completely a cappella, and I wasn't able to warm up beforehand because I was so nervous. I felt so <laughs> I felt so sick with nerves. I couldn't open my mouth before going onto the sofa. Thankfully, they were lovely to me, but I ended up singing that live on BBC Breakfast, completely a cappella, a little, a little bit of it. You can actually find that video on YouTube, it's there somewhere. Um, that was when I just got back from China after winning enough money for a flight home for Christmas. <laughs> so um, I sang it there too. Um, but yes, so there is a tip jar available, which is the link um, up above, and we're also putting it in the comments. There is a sale, celebratory sale, on the website. You can get 20% off. You don't need a discount code this time. It's all just available on the website. And I also now have something that I'd like to show you. Is that okay? I revealed something that I've been working on to the Mary Jess Club yesterday, and now I'd like to show you. Can I show you? Okay. So, I have never created handwritten lyric sheets before, but I thought to celebrate Shine's birthday, what I would do is I would get some beautiful parchment paper, write out the lyrics to some of the songs, and then 
do some Chinese calligraphy. So I've hand painted Chinese calligraphy onto these lyric sheets and I'd like to show you. So this one we have, Are You The Way Home? here. So this character in the middle is Jia, which is home. So we've created that one and then I've got this one as another example. So this is Heaven Is Empty and then we've got the Chinese for love in the middle and that's because heaven is empty is about when you're feeling like you're in the darkest place where even heaven could feel empty to you even when you're in that darkest of places that's that light that shining light can come along and make you feel love even when you're in the darkest places so that's why i've decided to put the character for love in the middle of that one. So I'm really thrilled to say that we will have a few different options from a few of the songs available for pre-order on the website next week. I will only be making five of each one. I'll only be making five because they take ages. <laughs> they take a really, really, really long time. <laughs> but it's something I've wanted to do for ages. So they'll be available for pre-order next week. Keep your eye out on my social media. If you're on my mailing list, keep your eyes out there as well. And I'll let you know when they're available for pre-order. So this next song I would like to perform for you. I wrote this song with Chris Eaton. And this was actually the very first song that we wrote together. And when I played it to Tom Lewis, my A&R man, my artist and repertoire man at Decca, he said, Mary Jess, I think we've done it. This is the tone of the album that we have been looking for. This is the sound world that we should create. So as soon as we had this, we knew what we wanted the rest of the album to sound like. This is my own sunrise.
Hi, thank you very much. Hi, Zach, thank you. Deirdre, hello. Such a unique and beautiful album. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you think so. Well, that was my own sunrise. So I wrote that with Chris Eaton and it was the song that set the tone for the album. So as I said, I wrote, I co-wrote seven out of the 12 songs on Shine, but I was a new writer at that point. Decca was sending me around to every man and his dog to write songs. I wrote over a hundred songs for Shine. And as a new writer, I felt an awful lot of pressure to deliver a hit because that's what Decca were looking for. And it got to the point where I went into the head office of Decca and I went in to see Tom Lewis, my A&R man. And I said to him, Tom, I'm, I'm finding this really hard. I feel like all the pressure is on me, a new writer at 19 years old, to create these songs for Shine and write hits all the time. And I'm finding it really difficult to not let the pressure get to me. Has anybody sent anything in that you like that we might be able to use because I knew they were asking their writers for songs for this album. So I said to him, surely your writers, they must have sent something in that you like that we might be able to use just to take the pressure off me a bit. And he said, actually, yeah, we were sent this song. What do you think of this? And I couldn't believe it, but this song, it just, I feel like it saved me because as soon as I heard it, I knew I wanted to sing it. It's Lighthouse of Mine. And I can't believe it really. It, it came to me like a lighthouse. And in Lighthouse of Mine, it talks about this beacon of hope that is always there to guide you home, that comes in and saves you and shows you the way home. And so I really felt like Lighthouse came to me at a time when I needed a beacon of hope. It's just amazing how that, how that song came along. Now, I've promised you some news, some announcements. During this concert, and this is the announcement I have been promising. Are you ready? <laughs> so, I said that I would be recording two singles to celebrate Shine's birthday month, and this is the second one. Glorious is the first one, and now Lighthouse of Mine. I am recording it, a new, brand new acoustic version of Lighthouse of Mine to celebrate Shine's birthday. So I'm so thrilled to be able to announce that. And there's also something that I'd like to be able to show you. Is that okay? So the Merry Jess Club members, they've seen this already. So apologies to you guys, you've seen this already. But I decided what I do is because this song means so much to me, I'll spend some time and I will hand paint the artwork in watercolour. So I've created two lighthouses in watercolour. One of them is being used as the artwork for Lighthouse, the brand new single. And then I'll be creating prints of light the lighthouses that I have painted as well. So can I show you? Is that all right? Are you ready? Okay, so this is the first one. There you go. So I hand painted that myself in watercolour. There will be prints available of that, as well as a couple of other things that we're looking at making as well. And then this is the one that we've decided to use. The Mary Jess Club members, they helped me decide which one to use for the artwork. And we're using this one for the artwork. So I hand painted that as well. I really hope you like it. I feel I don't normally do that, so I feel, I feel a little bit proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so thrilled that I can use that for the artwork. So that is my big announcement that I wanted to make, that Lighthouse of Mine, the brand new acoustic version, will be coming out this month as we celebrate Shine's birthday month. So the recording isn't ready yet to be able to use the new backing track, so we're using the backing track from Shine and Gosh, this lighthouse, this song was a lighthouse to me when I needed it, and this is Lighthouse of Mine. Though I've walked the darkest roads, though I've walked it all.
Martin, thank you for your round of applause. Thank you so much. Holger, not just a touchingly beautiful melody, but the lyrics are timeless poetry. I agree. I love that song. I'm so, so grateful that the writers sent it in. Absolutely love it. So, oh my goodness me, I can't believe it, but we are about to sing our last song. I can't believe it, but before we do, of course, we have to announce our share competition winners. Yes? Okay, so if you've shared this concert, you've been entered into our prize draw to win posters, CDs, and the brand new poster of the glorious artwork as soon as it's available. So it is available for pre-order. Currently, it will be available next week. So are we ready to announce the winners? Okay, we have my trusty pot. <laughs> With the entrance in it. Right, okay. I'm gonna move it around, move it around, move it around. Okay. Martin Hans, you win our third prize. Congratulations to Martin. Okay, drum roll please. Are we ready for second prize? Second prize, are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Colin, by the way. You win second prize, congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, last one. So this is first prize. This is for the postcards and the albums and the glorious poster. Right, let's get my hand right in the, right in the bottom there. Okay, are we ready? Tracy Miller, congratulations, Tracy Miller. You win the first prize. Congratulations. So thank you so much everybody for watching and for entering and for sharing. I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna pass this back to Rich now. Thank you, Rich. So congratulations to our winners. There is a tip jar link if you've got any spare virtual change hanging about. There is a virtual tip jar link at the top of this post as well as in the comments. Rich will stick it in there. And then also we have the celebratory sale for Shine on my website, 20% off a lot of the products that are on there to celebrate Shine's birthday. So we will put the link to the website shop in the comments as well so that that is easy to find. Also, after this, we're gonna have our after party in the Mary Jess Club. So if you wanna join us, you have about 15 minutes to join the club. 
and get your ticket to the after party, okay? So if you want to come and join the after party, Rich will put in the link to Coffee, which is the Patreon style subscription place where the club is hosted. It is a monthly subscription club. So if you'd like to join us in the after party, just go over to Coffee, Rich will put the link in the comments now. Click monthly so that it goes red, then click donate to set up your subscription and we will let you in to the club ready for the after party. It's going to be in our exclusive Facebook group. So once you've joined the Mary Jess Club, look out for a message from me inviting you to join the Facebook group because that is where the after party is going to take place. Okay? So, of course, I had to leave this song till last didn't I? I had to. It is the brand new version of Glorious. So this brand new acoustic version had its world premiere on BBC Radio Gloucester and Wiltshire today with Dominic Cotter. So thank you very much, Dominic, for that. Glorious's official release date is this Friday coming, but if you can't wait that long, you can get it now on Bandcamp. Okay, so we're going to put that link in the comments as well. You can get it now on Bandcamp. It is available there for free because as an artist in the entertainment industry, I know that times are still tough for a lot of us right now. So if you cannot afford to buy music, then you can still share in the joy and love of music for free on Bandcamp. But if you do have something that you can contribute, then you have that option as well. So thank you so much to you for choosing to come and spend your time with me and I want to say thank you so much to the Mary Jess Club members for helping me craft this new version of Glorious. They have been there with me from the beginning on this journey. I've been sharing with them all of my ideas, all of the mixes as soon as they come through, including mixes of the backing track, the first vocals that I've got, mixes of the harmonies going in, the first master. They have been on this journey of the creation of this song from the very beginning. And thank you so much to you wonderful Mary Jess Club members for helping me craft this new version of Glorious. So, Glorious, I put it on my Facebook page and on my social media. It does have a story behind it. Glorious was written for the forces. I have a long family history with the forces. My cousin is in the Royal Engineers. My uncle was in the RAF. My dad was in the Navy. My grandfather was in the RAF and my great, great grandfather owned Whitehead aircraft and he made Sopwith Pup biplanes, wooden canvas planes for our brave boys to fly in in the First World War. So the forces is a very, very, very close thing to my heart. And the day that I was going to this writing session with Chris Eaton, I had the news on and I saw some of our brave boys being brought back home through Royal Wooden Bassett. And I saw their devastated families throwing the flowers onto the hearses as they drove past. And I just couldn't help but weep with them as I watched the telly, because I just knew that it could so easily have been my family on that other side of the camera and somebody else watching on TV. So I knew that I had to write this song for the forces. So thank you so much again for coming and spending your time with me. Thank you so much for joining me to celebrate Shine's birthday. Happy birthday, Shine. This is glorious. Thank you.
new star shining like mine. Can you hear this promise tonight? I will wait forever for daybreak. So close your eyes. Remember them tonight. So Birthday. Thank you so much, members of the Mary Jess Club. I will see you in our exclusive Facebook group very soon for our after party. So I can't wait to see you there. Thank you so much again for joining me to help with Shine a very happy 10th birthday. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful and I'm so glad that we could spend our time together. So I'll be in touch again soon, but have a wonderful evening and thank you so much again. Happy birthday, Shine! <laughs> Good night. Bye.